one of the most important themes uh, heading into this offseason and especially heading into the draft for the Baltimore Ravens that a lot of fans have been saying is that they need to build a wall around Lamar Jackson. They need to do everything that they possibly can to protect their quarterback. And this guy, Daniel Falele from Minnesota, he literally is a wall all by himself. This guy is massive. He is huge. What is he, 6'9", almost 400 pounds? That's... That's the offensive line all by himself, man. That's a massive figure, man. And with him, the Ravens selected him in the fourth round. He was projected to be a second-round pick. Some people thought he could even be a third-round pick, but the Ravens got him in the fourth. And that's something that you keep hearing about this Ravens draft this year is a steal. This guy's a steal. Wow, how did the Ravens end up getting this guy? He was projected to go a lot earlier. And this is yet another example of that. Now, with him, he is, I think he is actually the biggest player in the draft. Um, and he sort of like Orlando Brown Jr., but bigger, bigger. Now, something that concerns me is that him being that big, um, the strength is there. Hey, and, and Ravens, ooh, you know Minnesota lined him up at fullback for that play. <laughs> Don't let Ravens see. You know, Ravens, Ravens probably already saw that. And they, you know they're going to end up doing something. Because Ravens like tinkering around with stuff like that. So they're going to end up doing something. So watch out for it. But anyway, um, he is huge. Uh, when I see pass rushes go up against him, if they try to bull rush, they try to rush him straight forward, no. Nah. That, no. Nah. He'll, he'll be fine dealing with that. My concern is for the pass rushers that if if he's not as bendy as uh, as he should be, if he can't, those guys that that get around and that sort of hit him with them swim moves, and that kind of get low on him, because that's where I would be concerned for for Lele. Um, because again, if you matching strength for strength, I right, he'll be just fine. But if you trying to match strength versus speed and technique especially guys that's learning on an NFL level that's where it can get a little more challenging for him in my opinion but at the same time he'll also be learning on an NFL level as well so he'll be able to work on his craft he'll be able to come in and he's somebody that this is going to be sort of a developmental guy for the Ravens he's not going to come in and start right away at least you you would hope not uh, because that would mean that somebody was hurt. So you hope not, but he's one of those pieces that you got in the back. He's one of those stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And Ravens, they needed to do this. They needed to get those pieces, especially along the offensive line, because we saw last year. Because we saw the year before. We, we've seen it. And the Ravens have... This has been an issue for years, them needing to really upgrade the quality of the offensive line as a whole and them needing to have backup options for particularly Ronnie Stanley the most because you know how his history has been, unfortunately. Hopefully this year it changes, but again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, so now the Ravens, uh, they have drafted Linderbaum at center. They drafted Daniel Falele, who was a right tackle in Minnesota. And shout out to Rashad Bateman. I guess the Ravens were like, you know what? Drafting from Minnesota is so nice. We want to do it twice, two years in a row. And, uh, you know, Bateman's happy about this. He gets somebody that he's obviously familiar with. Went to the same school. Um, but their offensive line, uh, the, the depth and the quality has definitely gone up from last year. You, you get the best center in the draft. Not just a center, but the best center in the draft. And one of the best center prospects that have been coming out for a long time. Um, and then you, you get Daniel Falele. Again, the project guy. Not all the way ready yet. But you know you never know. Just in case he needed to step in, maybe he could be ready. Um, but then you sign Morgan Moses as well. You hope that Ronnie Stanley is healthy. You hope that Jawan James is healthy. Tyree Phillips. He should be coming back healthy. Uh, he'll probably be more at guard, though. I don't think they're gonna. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna do the tackle thing with Tyree Phillips no more. At least we hope not. Um, you got uh, David Sharp. I always feel like I say his name the wrong way. Maybe it's Daniel. Sh no, I think it's David Sharp. But anyway, so right now the the quality is better. It's better than it was last year, and of course a lot of that is pending health. But this, I I, I do like this pick. 
because it helps, again, build the wall. Protection. Protection for Lamar Jackson. Protection for, and, and of course with him. With him. I know my, my guy Cam Neal talks about it all the time. With offensive linemen, they, they love to run block. Because if you're an offensive lineman and you pass blocking, you got to wait for the defender to come engage with you. You got to wait for the defender to come your way. But if you run blocking, oh, yeah, you get to go at the defender. You get to initiate contact. You get to go knock somebody on their behind. So he can not only help protect Lamar, but he can also help open stuff up for the running backs. If, if he gets his chance, if and when he gets his chance and opportunity. Um, the most that I would expect to see him early on, obviously in a preseason, I wouldn't really expect to see him uh, on game day. Because, again, like I said, Ravens, they have their guys right now. Like, their starting offensive line, barring injury, would be pro projected to be Ronnie Stanley, left tackle, left guard. Could be Ben Cleveland, could be Tyree Phillips. That's still undecided. Center, Tyler, oh, could be Patrick McCarry, too. Center could be, uh, will be Tyler Lindenbaum. Right guard will be Kevin Zeitler. Right tackle will be Morgan Moses. So Falele is not in that equation right there. Maybe they try him out at guard, though. Maybe they give him a little spin at guard. Maybe they give him a little try and see, hey, what can you do there? But I, I, I don't see that happening. But you never know with the Ravens. You never know. Um, definitely wouldn't be surprised if they tried him at fullback, too. They'd be like, all right, Patrick Ricard, we're going to let him spell you for a little bit. Come on, Falele. Come on, run his back. Show us what you did in Minnesota. Ain't nobody going to want to tackle you. Who's going to want to tackle a 6'9", 400-pound guy? Ain't nobody going to try to tackle you. They're going to try to go low, but it ain't going to work. You definitely can't go high, so you'll be done. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and we out.